Okay, so algebra equals life. What could I possibly be talking about uh, in this video? Now, some of you are probably laughing already. You're thinking, algebra? No, algebra means you have no life. If you're taking algebra, you have no life. Or maybe this uh, teacher is so obsessed with math that they definitely have no life because their whole life is wrapped up in algebra. Well, uh, I hate to surprise you or disappoint you, but I actually have a life beyond mathematics. That's not what I'm going to be getting at. I, what I want to do, though, is share with you, I think, an interesting principle that is, um, you know, part of algebra, but a bigger part of mathematics and how it relates to life. I think you'll find this interesting. So just stick with me for a few minutes and you'll see what I'm talking about. You don't need to be an algebra expert or even, um, you know, know algebra. I'm going to teach you a tiny little bit of what I'm talking about, the principle, and then we'll kind of see how it relates to life. And um, there's these kind of connections, uh, you know, uh, between math and what goes on in life. And, I, you know, I, to me, it's very interesting because, you know, Algebra is mathematics. It's part of our natural world. Okay, we experience this just as we have principles of life. We have principles of algebra, and a lot of this stuff overlaps. You'll be kind of surprised, and I'm going to share uh, with you one of these main principles that kind of overlap between algebra and life. But we're going to get to that in just a second. Let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabla Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over several years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. I actually have 100 plus uh, courses that I offer. Of course, I have the big courses like Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, um, Pre-Algebra, College Algebra, and soon uh, Pre-Calculus. I have many, many specialty courses for those of you out there who have to study for the GED or take the SAT or teacher certification exam, college placement exams. I have tons of test prep courses, uh, very, very comprehensive, um, and you can see why this, uh, my program has, my catalog of courses has taken me over 10 years to build out. Super effective, um, all video based. So if you're interested, again, you just follow the link in the description of this video. Now, one of the things that you need to be interested is in note taking. So if you are a math student, I kind of figure that you may, might be, if you're watching this video, you need to know my golden rule of math. Over decades of teaching math, one thing is totally apparent to me, and that is the following. Those students who take great math notes almost always get great math grades, and the reverse is true. Those students who don't take any notes or sloppy notes, or they have a photographic memory, they say, I don't need to take notes because I just like remember everything I see. Um, or I have my best friend in the class, they take my notes for me, and then I look at their notes because, you know, I got to be, you know, up to speed on my social media. You know, I get it. Listen, I was uh, a student once and I made a lot of mistakes. And okay? I want you to make those mistakes. And thank goodness for me that there wasn't smartphones back when I was going to school, because if there was, I'm sure I'd have been in real trouble. So phones and things like that, these distractions, you know, uh, are really, really detrimental to you learning mathematics. So if you're struggling in math like, or if you want to do great in math, you have to pay attention. So you're going to have to figure out what to do with that phone put it away, concentrate, and evidence of your concentration is notes. When you have great notes, that, that just doesn't happen. That's a, that's a reflection of your focus and your engagement in class. Okay, So uh, if you need to improve in your note-taking, then you know you now get motivated to understand why it's important. But in the meantime, you need something to study from. So I actually uh, offer detailed comprehensive math notes to include pre-algebra, algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, and Trigonometry. You can find links to those notes in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get into this Algebra Equals Life, or for some of you out there who are laughing, like, yeah, if you're taking Algebra, you have no life. Well, I get it. Let's let's take a look at what I'm talking about here. So here I have a basic equation. Okay, so Algebra is all about, well, a big, huge part of Algebra is solving equations. Now, when you look at an equation... The biggest concept or right, model um, that you can think of in terms of an equation is this concept of balance. Okay, so here I have x is equal to three, and you can see this is sitting on some sort of scale or teeter totter or seesaw, whatever you want to think of it. So this is in balance, right? So if this side is three, you can think of it as, as three pounds, for example. Well, then this side must be what? X must be also three, because three is equal to three. 
that's in balance. That's what an equation is. We're saying the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, or the right-hand side is equal to the left-hand side. So, for example, here, I could put 3 on this side of the uh, uh, scale and put x on this side of the scale, and this is in balance as well because the left is equal to the right. Now, as soon as I start messing with this um, equation, I, this will become out of balance. So let's say I add 1 to this side of the equation. Well, what happens? Well, now I, I put more weight or you know, value on this side, so now this is out of balance, okay? Or I, I changed the equation, or right? this is not the original equation. I, I actually changed it. So to get this back in balance, I can do one or two things. I can just remove the one, I can take it off the scale again, or I can add a one to this side. It's just like a scale, okay, or a teeter-totter. Uh, as long as I'm doing the same thing to both sides, this equation remains in balance. So I have 1 plus x equals 3 plus 1. All right, so let's take a look at that. 1 plus x equals 3 plus 1 is 4. Okay, so this equation here is equivalent to the original equation, x equals 3. Okay, and one of the things that... Uh, one of the main things that you learn in algebra is learning how to solve equations, which is the steps you need to get x by itself. We're trying to figure out what is the value of the variable, but the overarching principle of solving equations in algebra is this concept of balance. Uh, namely, uh, whatever you do to one side of an equation, as long as you do the exact same thing to the other side of the equation, then you are not breaking the equation. So for example, here I have one plus x is equal to four. To solve this for x, I subtract one. I'm doing the exact same thing to both sides of the equation. I'm subtracting one from both sides. I'm not breaking it, but this allows me to get the solution x equals three, okay? So in algebra, we have a problem, and to get to the solution, we are using this principle of balance. And this is the connection that I kind of, um, you know, I see in life. Okay. Obviously this, this concept of balance is everywhere in life. And let's take a look at some things that I wrote. And of course, I'm sure you could have, uh, you can add to my list probably even much better. And you could probably throw some of those in you know, the comments, but let's just look at principles or observations of, of things that balance out in life okay so obviously we have the day and we have the night okay this happens this is just the these things happen in our universe we they're guaranteed to happen all right we're guaranteed to have problems in life and guess what there's oftentimes we're going to have solutions we are going to be sad sometimes or we're going to be happy sometimes now let's take a look at this whoops i went too far let's take a look at this sad and happy situation okay now some of you out there are saying well, we have sad and happy. What happens when we're too sad, okay? Where we're too, too sad all the time. Then we're out of balance, okay? We're in this depressive state. Now, it, it's unrealistic to say that we're going to be happy 100% of the time. That's not how life works. What happens is, in most of people's lives, is that we're going to have uh, some sadness and happiness, okay? And, and But it, it kind of all balances out. All right. That's the normal state. That's a balanced state of life. All right. So it's namely, you know, just think about these rest, of these, you know, uh, principles. Sometimes we're tired. Sometimes we have energy. Sometimes we're alone. Other times we're with family and friends. OK, that we're not lonely. All right. Or we make mistakes. Yes, you will make mistakes in life. I can guarantee that. But guess what? Oftentimes we learn from our mistakes. And if we're not learning from our mistakes, we're not gaining wisdom. All right. Every year there's going to be a winter and there's going to be a summer. All right. Cold and hot. Sometimes it's going to be noisy. Sometimes it's going to be silent. So, you know, when you look at life and the the things that we encounter that you can guarantee, you know, uh, that you're going to experience in life, you're going to have these ups and downs or these yings and yangs and these positive and negatives. But in some way, a lot of this stuff seems to just kind of balance itself out. And this concept of balance, all right, 
you know, uh, there's no way of, of avoiding it. You know, you can't avoid the winter, right? That's coming, <laughs> especially live in the north. Well, if you live in Florida, maybe you never experience the winter. But even in Florida, you know, it gets uh, it gets kind of cold sometimes. But, you know, you're not going to always have silence in your life, all right? You're not going to always have noise. You're not always going to be sad. Sometimes you're going to be happy, okay? So things, I think the natural order of things is this uh, concept of balance, but balance, all right, this idea of balance is just the overarching uh, principle in mathematics as well. And it's just, you know, it's an interesting principle because, you know, math, numbers, all right, these are part of our natural universe. And, you know, I think that's a interesting connection to make. So algebra equals life? Well, you know, of course, you, you'll make that determination. But again, some of you are probably I got a kick out of this video and just laughing, you know, hysterically. And we're like, yeah, yeah, well, algebra, you have no life lesson. Don't be too tough on algebra. You know, uh, the more math you know, the better off you're going to be. Are you going to be doing algebra, you know, uh, every day of your life in the real world? No, of course not. But the critical thinking skills that you learn and develop in studying mathematics and algebra will serve you well through all areas of life, okay? All right, so, you know, my job as a math teacher is to try to make math clear and understandable, try to get you motivated to learn more of this math. Oftentimes, a lot of students, they have this, you know, lack of a better word, hatred, dislike, you know, this anxiety of, of studying mathematics. I'm trying to dispel all that, okay? Try to get rid of those feelings if you have that and give math a, a second chance uh, what you need is a teacher that motivates you, and if, uh, of course, that's why I make these videos, because if you like my teaching style, well, you're in the right place. Uh, hopefully, you've liked this video, and if you did, please consider smashing the like button, but if you do like my teaching style, okay, uh, you're in luck, because I've been on YouTube for a long time. I have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos on my channel that are there for you, basic to advanced math, organized in various playlists. Of course, if you want my best uh, help follow the links in the description of this video. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.